In the uh, script of Three of a Kind, there's a, a, a pretty vicious main character named Victor. And the only time we see his softer side, so to speak, is when he interacts with his sister, who's me. How you doing, sis? That bad, huh? Hey, I think you look stronger. And I'm in an institution of some sort. Clearly, I'm there for depression, some kind of serious depression and mental disorder. Um, although I'm still bright and funny, to, and adore my brother, and he adores me, and we're the we're, we're bonded by a very tragic past. Hey, seriously, seriously, why don't we go to a Bears game? Okay, next time they're in town, we'll do it. Yeah! Of course, you might be all tied up. You're such a busy man. And so, even though we joke and tease each other, something happens and I go into a... a almost a psychotic state where I am reliving the uh, brutality that we together experienced as children. I won't see it again. It's deeply, deeply upsetting to Victor. So there were, it was a day where we had laughs in the beginning and did the fun part and the jokes, and then the last scene was really brutal and really exhausting. Um, uh, one of the things actors have to do that most people don't understand is uh, tell really deep truths. That's the point of acting. Most people think acting's about lying, and in fact, it's quite the opposite. So every emotion you experience, if you're acting properly, you're really experiencing. And you're really feeling and really having and not faking, particularly in film when the camera can come in and make your head 20 feet high. An audience can see what's going on. The Indians believe the camera steals your soul. Well, it reveals your soul. Whether it steals it or not is another issue. <laughs> but they do have a point there somewhere. So what I had to do was go to black places in myself that I don't particularly like to go to and pull on some of that along with what I'd figured out the character had been through. And one of my processes is that I try and mesh something in me with something in the script so that it's sort of a marriage of the fiction of the character and something in there emotionally, not necessarily in terms of experience, that I can relate to and marry the two. So the last half of the day was tough stuff. It was a lot of takes of, of um, a woman really breaking down, uh, who's my age, over her past. And there just are some things that happen to people that we never get over. And I think pretty much everybody has something. There are very few people who get to walk through life unscathed. But in this case, it, it's a particularly brutal reality that these two kids live through and it and it bonded them I took care of him he took care of me and so here we are much older he turned out to be kind of a sociopath and a, a brutalizer of women and well, anybody else around I guess I became the more vulnerable of the two <laughs>